Every one of the nearly six lakh villages of India is a kernel of human existence with its specific identity and needs. In arid, coastal or remote hilly areas, the basic requirements of food, fodder, water and fuel wood are the same. But resources are not always easily accessible in villages. Nor are urban facilities like electricity or cooking gas. This vacuum does not in any way eliminate or diminish the need of power in villages. In fact, the demand for electricity in the agricultural sector alone rises by about 15% every year. Agricultural pump sets are obviously essential for minor irrigation by farmers. And rural electrification programs promoted since the 1960s were meant to fulfill basic rural demands. But it takes years for power lines to be constructed before villages actually receive the power. Over four decades, there has been an almost 50-fold increase in electricity production. But there is more than one kind of gap between the center or state level organization which generate the electricity and those who use it, causing inefficiencies in the transmission and use of this expensive input. In recent years, the focus has increasingly shifted to the social and environmental aspects of energy. Renewable energy technologies offer a way of utilizing endless resources like agro-waste, the sun and biogas for power generation, while simultaneously involving the community in the process of energy production and use. This little village in the Himalayas is an example. Every day, one family has the responsibility of collecting the raw material. In this case, it is an unwanted weed, which is a menace in the Himalayan regions. But for this village, it has become a source of decentralized power generation. Villagers trained by an NGO manage a gasifier-based technology, whereby electricity is generated through a gasifier drastically reducing the consumption of the polluting and expensive diesel. The electricity is used for community benefit like flower making, as well as for street and domestic lighting after sunset. Conventional grid systems will be needed for large-scale use, but decentralized power generation from renewables can obviously fulfill the minimum needs of villages and give them the chance to manage their power requirements.